Hi, in this video, we will talk about digest authentication in rest assured. So it is very similar to your basic authentication. So we'll see what exactly this is and why we to why we need to use uh, this authentication. Okay. So digest authentication is another HTTP based authentication mechanism. Okay. This is another HTTP based authentication mechanism. Okay, so it's like uh, very similar to like uh, basic authentication. Okay, so it is very similar to your basic authentication. However, it is more secure than basic authentication. Okay, this is more secure than basic authentication, where the server, where the server challenges okay where the server challenges the client with a nonce the nonce means number used once so there is a simple form of uh, number used once that is called nonce and uh, how it more secure than authentication mm. Nonce and client uh, response. So client response with, with client response with a hash of the nonce and other information. Okay. So it is more secured uh, than basic authentication. where the server challenges the client and because of this what happens because of this what it happens it does not transmit the actual password over the network okay so because of this uh, mechanism, it doesn't transmit the actual password over the network. So server will provide one uh, number used once, nonce. So with the help of that, the client will hash the information. So because of that, when you transmit the password over the network, that is not the actual password that is already hashed using the number which is provided by the server. Okay. If you want to get this information briefly, so brief overview of how digest authentication works. Okay. So the first first point is the first point is the server sends a challenge to the client. The server sends a challenge to the client, including a nonce and other other parameters okay it will challenge the client including one nonce and other information the client calculates a hash with the help of of the password of the password the client calculates the hash of the password the nonce and other data and other data and sends it back to the server and sends it back to the server. Then what happens? Then the server verifies the hash and allows access to the client. Okay. The server verifies the hash and allows access to the client. Simple terms, ser uh, server will give one uh, number. With the help of that number, it will hash that uh, password and it will send to the server then server verifies the hash and allows the client to the uh, allows the access to the client okay so this is theoretically what is digest authentication so when you see outside you don't uh, much uh, you don't see much difference between basic authentication and preemptive authentication and digest authentication but with the help of one example we'll see so that is internal mechanism okay so let me go to postman so here i have taken one of the 
URL is postman-echo.com slash digest authentication. Okay. So when you try to send, is it is unauthorized. So we need to provide the digest authentication for that go to authorization. You see in the previous uh, video, we have seen basic authentication. In the basic authentication, you see, apart from username and password, you don't see anything. Other information is not there. It is empty. So when you select a digest authentication from this drop down, you see the same username and password. Apart from that, you have some extra information and algorithm. So there are different types of algorithms it, it have. So with the help of this algorithm, it will protect your password. Okay. It will hash your password, it will encrypt your password and it transmit over the network. Then other people cannot get that information. Okay. So now I have changed it to digest authentication. I have given username and password and algorithm default it has selected MD5. So then if you try to send, you see authenticated true. So with the help of digest authentication also, we are getting the authenticated true, but internal mechanism is different. So this is more secure than your basic authentication. Okay. So with the help of one uh, code, so in the rest of should we will see how exactly it works. Okay. So I have created one class called digest authentication in rest assured. I have created a method called digest authentication and we are looking into two ways, right? So first is normal uh, classes and you no know, objects. And in the second, we will see with the help of DSL syntax. Okay. So rest assured dot base URI. What is that base URI? Let me copy paste that. So this is the one digest authentication and request specification. Request spec is equals to rest assured dot give. So here only we need to provide that authentication request spec dot authentication dot you have previously we have basic authentication right it's a basic before basic you need to mention instead of basic you need to mention digest that's it what is the username postman and what is the password password that's it here we need to do the only that change so response response is equals to what is that request spec dot dead get this is, good. this is get right yeah get so once you get that information i need to verify with the help of json path the exact what we did in our previous videos so json path and we'll get the status code and authenticated is true or not we have done the same thing in basic authentication. We have done the same thing in preemptive authentication. So only this line is changing. Here this one. Here the basic authentication. Here digest authentication. Only that is the difference. Apart from that remaining things are same. Okay. So response dot JSON path. And then string category is equals to JSON path dot get string of authenticated so this is not a category so this is what we have taken so authenticated so i'll take the same name here also so now i'll try to assert the information assert dot assert equals and what is that response dot get status code and we are expecting 200 and the same way assert dot assert equals what is that authenticated is true okay so if it is executing perfect then this is this code is working fine and digest authentication also working fine okay, it is working fine so asserts are passing so this is the only difference we need to mention in the digest authentication request spec dot authentication dot digest and you need to provide the username and password. Okay, the same thing. 
So we'll we'll try to see the same thing with the DSL syntax. So for that, same rest assured dot given and uh, that we need to provide what authentication dot digest. So postman and then password and and when right sorry when dot get inside the get we need to provide the our URI and then I need to verify status code 200 and then in the inside the body I need to assert, uh, assert this authenticated okay so the body what is that authenticated comma so matchers we need to import matchers dot equal to that is true and then you can prolog dot all if you want otherwise you can close there itself okay that's all so i need to comment this code so i'll try to execute the dsl syntax this time also it should pass you see that the output is authenticated true so the test case is passing so this is how in, in it you can use digest authentication the difference between digest and other uh, basic authentication is it is more secure than your basic authentication okay so this is all about digest authentication in rest assured okay that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates thank you